Alex Earl has quickly become an online sensation, boasting millions of followers on TikTok in just a matter of a few months. Now, if you don't know of Alex, Alex is a creator who recently started blowing up and she's widely known for her get ready with me videos, style with me vlogs, mini vlogs, and of course, her looks. The social media star also has an Amazon storefront where she shares links to her favorite stuff. And unfortunately, Alex got herself into her first scandal this past week that involved her Amazon storefront video. On December 28th, Alex posted a video listing her top Amazon purchases of 2022. And among her beauty, wellness, and tech finds was a hair oil. And it was Miel's Organics Scalp and Hair Oil, which is a product typically used by those with textured and curly hair. She said, I've only been using this for a little over a month and I've already seen tremendous hair growth. Only been using this for like a little over a month and I've already seen tremendous hair growth. Now, since this video, a slew of mostly white creators have taken to TikTok to test out the oil. It's important to note that Alex has over 3 million followers, and while the buzz surrounding the oil might have seemed like a win for Miel after Alex had promoted them, the newfound demand among her predominantly white following had created some consequences for the black and brown customers that Miel's products are made for. Now, to understand these consequences, it's important to acknowledge the importance of hair oiling in black and South Asian hair care. Because for a lot of black people, they're pointing out that curls and coils makes it more difficult for the scalp's natural oils to moisturize the hair shaft, and that hair oils like Miel's helps prevent breakage and frizziness resulting from the dryness in their hair. While a ton of creators are framing Miel's hair oil as a novel discovery, the product certainly isn't new to black and brown people. And while it's great that a black-owned company like Miel is enjoying a spike in demand in their sales, a lot of their customers fear that the brand would increase their prices and reformulate as a result of its newfound popularity among their white customers. And some people were quick to point out that they even noticed the price had increased since Alex's video, which they were clearly not too happy about. Cause you're making it hard for me and I don't wanna leave. 28 miles is absolutely madness. Already, Miel is apparently selling out, not only online, but in brick and mortar stores as well, and some are attributing it due to Alex's video and her influence from it. One person even recommended that people should start using this instead for their hair. Guys, the rumors are true. The Rosemary Miel drops at Target were sold out. Um, so I thought I would share a tip that has helped me grow my hair a lot longer. It's called Just For Me. They say it's for kids, but you don't have to worry about that. It actually works on any one. Um, it helped me grow my hair really fast. What it does is it relaxes your hair so that basically your hair is like stress-free. And when your hair is stress-free, it basically just grows a lot faster. Um, I literally shaved my head and then boom, my hair grew super fast. So I definitely suggest this. Um, it actually works better than Miel Drops. So I wouldn't even use Miel Drops. I choose this over Miel every time. Um, hope this helps. This topic of conversation continued to bring about a huge controversy of injustice for the black community and some claiming white customers raiding the natural hair care aisle in stores because of Alex's video and thus preventing black customers from buying one of the few brands made specifically for them. So there's a lot of controversy surrounding white women buying the Miel Organics Rosemary Hair Oil. I genuinely need to know something. You go to their website, you see it's made by a black woman and they're really emphasizing how how it works for black women. By now you know that there are not a lot of products on the market for us. Their Amazon page, it's the same thing. There's pictures of black women and they're emphasizing black women in their marketing. You go in store, you have to march to the ethnic hair section and you notice that this section is significantly smaller than all of the other sections. Knowing everything that you know, does it not feel a little weird to still buy the product and then go online and hype it and tell everybody else to buy it? And if it doesn't feel weird, why not? All over TikToks, comments like this were being made to kind of safeguard the oil from being misused by the wrong audience. With many saying things like, if y'all sell out the Miel oil, I will riot. How did y'all find Miel? Please, I can't breathe. No, the Miel oil is about to get even harder to get. I can't breathe. The hair oil is for the curly haired girls. Please don't sell it out. Oh my God. So where does this leave us at now? Should white and non-black creators drop hair oil and lip gloss completely? Let's take race out of it, right? 
let's just just go off common sense with me for one second. You walk past the four or five hair care aisles dedicated to you in a store and walk down the one ethnic hair care aisle to pull out an oil that you saw on TikTok and you read the instructions and it says that you're not supposed to dilute it and that this is not something that you rinse out. This is something that stays in your hair. And prior to you getting on TikTok, you know that your hair doesn't do well oily and you have to wash it every day or every other day. What made you think that walking through an ethnic hair care aisle to buy a $20 oil that was not made for you was going to work? And so you sold the oil out, y'all are wasting it, the product doesn't work for you, but you keep selling the oil out so that the people that actually need it can't get to the oil. Common sense is beating the brakes off y'all. And then on top of that, it's giving colonization. Now, as far as many customers being concerned about whether or not Miel would start changing their formula, Miel actually made a statement over on their Instagram and they were quick to say that they would not be changing their formula. And a lot of people from the black community really commended them for their statement. Over on their Instagram, they said, we've been together on this ride for a while. So you know that my journey with Miel started from a place of creating the product I wasn't finding in the marketplace. We remain for ever committed to developing quality, efficacious products that address the need states for our customers' hair types. And their post said, new year, same formula. Hope 2023 is off to an amazing start. I am so excited for all that is ahead this year, especially the great new innovations coming from Miel. There have been a few recent comments posted on this topic, but I can personally guarantee you that we are not making any ingredient changes. I also wanted to come here first to assure you directly that we have no plans to change the formula for rosemary mint oil or any of our products. Please know that we would always inform you in full transparency if any adjustments are made to the products you love and trust. Wow, so gotta love that for them because they're out here making it clear that they're not going to upset their OG target customers and that they aren't forgetting about their original demographic that they're tailoring to. Anyways guys, that's the whole controversy going on with Alex Earl and her video about Miel's oil. I definitely want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.